Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science technical tour. This tutorial demonstrates basic features of the NIH Blueprint Non-Human Primate Atlas. To get to this atlas, either click on the button from our portal page or choose the atlas from the drop-down menu on any of our web pages. While there are several distinct data modalities in this atlas, we will be focusing on searching and navigating the in situ hybridization data. For a simple gene search, type your gene name or abbreviation into the text box and click Go. This data set includes at least three replicates at each stage. I'll choose one experiment at each developmental stage and then click View Selected Data. These sidebars demonstrate the experiment, including the developmental age, going from oldest to youngest. You can zoom in by using your keyboard shortcuts, A to zoom in and Z to zoom out, or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Notice that the older ages show a distinct difference in shape of the hippocampus. By clicking on the N icon, you can view the closest Nissl stain section to see the cytoarchitecture underlying the gene expression. This icon will take you back to the gene expression. Because the background staining may mask actual gene expression, you can click this icon to view gene expression in false color, where blue and green show low expression and the hotter redder colors indicate high expression. Note higher expression at younger stages for this particular gene. This icon will open up this experiment in a high resolution image viewer. You'll be taken to a side-by-side -side Nissl view of the selected image. The scale bar is movable and scales as you zoom in and out. You can download these images by clicking this icon. These images are rather large, so you can download the current view or the entire image depending upon your storage space and bandwidth. The sync icon allows you to manually match up images and these hotspots indicate which structure you're looking at. Going back to the search, you can also limit your search using the temporal or structural filters. First select either a structure or an age to begin your search. I'll also select all the ages and then you'll need to select a gene. You can choose a gene from the list, or if you're interested, please go to the documentation page to see the full gene list. I've selected prodynorphin in this example, and then click Go. The search results in a list of experiments matching your criteria. Clicking on the gene symbol will take you to a page with metadata on the gene itself, as well as all the experiments in this pro project that assayed prodynorphin. Clicking on the specimen ID will show you the location from which this experiment was assayed in the brain, as well as what other genes were assayed in this area. And clicking on the image series ID will bring up a contact sheet with all the images in this experiment. I also want to demonstrate how to use the ISH anatomic search features. You'll first have to determine if you want to compare two substructures in the same age or if you're comparing the same substructure over two ages. Both searches are relatively similar, so I'll demonstrate using a single substructure at two ages. Then you'll need to select the type of ISH signal, either gene expression level or cell di density, both of which were manually determined by our neuroanatomists. Gene expression level utilizes our color mask tool and is ranked by color. Five is the highest expression and represented by the majority of the cells showing a red color, four by predominantly yellow colored cells, three by green cells, two by blue cells, one by sub blue cells, and zero by no discernible expression. Cell density is rated on a scale of zero to five as well, with the density of expressing cells indicated as on this image. Next, you'll want to search on a substructure. Each structure will give you a different choice on the types and layers of cells to choose from. We will choose the visual cortex in layer five. 
To look for genes that get turned on over time in the visual cortex layer 5, we'll choose low expression at early points and high expression at the oldest stage. We'll keep the default search to both of these constraints. You'll notice that two genes are returned, and while both genes show similar cell density, the intensity has increased over time. I'm going to select the experiments using the neuronal marker NEFH, which is a gene for the heavy chain of a neurofilament protein. These images demonstrate the increase in this neuronal marker in layer 5 of the visual cortex over time. Thank you for taking this tutorial. To find out more or to jump into the resource, please go to our website at www.brain-map.org.